Hello everyone, today I will show you how to use LogiSim to construct some simple uh, logic circuit. So in order to do that, just open the LogiSim and then you're going to see the uh, workspace, something like this. On the left hand side right here, you can see the uh, uh, component or the uh, menu we can have, the wiring, so that including the uh, fundamental uh, component we can use to construct the circuit the gate that of the uh, basic gate we can use uh, the uh, pressure uh, that's the multiplexer the multiplexer and so on uh, arithmetic uh, unit we have adder subtractor multiplier divider and so on uh, we also have the memory uh, including the uh, d flip-flop t flip-flop uh, jk and sr uh, the output, input output, we can have the button, uh, joystick, keyboard, LED, that's gonna be used later on, uh, seven uh, segment display, and the base. Uh, basically, that gives you some uh, capability to uh, pop the, or to uh, display the value of the input output. Also, we can have the um, label to uh, labeling the um, a signal okay all right so uh let's get started let's see assume we want to construct the not gate to test the uh signal the input output uh, signal so basically you're gonna use the click on the not gate and then you can drag right here all right um so in order to keep the input uh basically we can um using the label right here if the uh, title right here so you can have the ice as the input and also we can have the uh, not as the output okay so uh, in order to test the uh, operation of the circuit we create use the um, the input signal right here that the uh, pin that the input pin and so we uh, put the output pin right here for the uh, signal so uh, once you add in there, you can see that um, when the input i equal 0, the output going to be equal 1. So that uh, indicating correct operation of the uh, not gate. Now, if you want to change the uh, input signal, we are just using the poke uh, uh, function right here. Uh, when you see the finger right here, you can press in the input signal. That's going to change the input from 0 to 1. And then you can see the output as 0. Okay, so that indicating the uh, invert gate uh, operating uh, correctly. Right, uh, in similar way, you can also test the uh, end gate, for example. So if, for example, you want to test the end gate, it's just construct right here. Uh, let's say we have the two inputs, X and Y. All right, um, so we're going to construct the I input right here. Uh, then we're gonna have the uh, output right here. We want to um, have the output, so basically we construct like this. Uh, we also can use the uh, text tool in order to label us for some H, and here's the Y. The output basically gonna be the F function um, that equal X and this Y. Okay. Right, so in order to see, um, to check the operation of the AND gate with two input X and Y, um, basically we could uh, use the, so right now you can see uh, when X and Y equals zero, the output F equals zero. Um, now, if you change the value X equal one and Y equals zero, let's see what is the output going to be. So uh, you can see that the X equal one, Y equal zero, the output still equal zero. So that uh, indicating the uh, end uh, operation of the two input X and Y. Um, now, if you want to change the, uh, or keep X equal zero and Y equal uh, one, so you can change it and the output still zero. And we knowing that the output X and Y equal one only when X and Y equal one together or at the same time. So you can see when you change x y equal one, the output equal one. So that um, uh, showing the correct operation of the uh, end gate. Um, next, we also can show the operation of the OR gate. 
very the same similar way. Um, so assume we have the two inputs. I can y. Uh, right. Um, and then we could add the uh, uh, input pin. Then we have the output pin. Right. So we knowing that the um, the OR gate with two input side and Y and the output gonna be F equal X or uh, with uh, Y. Okay. So uh, we knowing that the um, uh, output uh, F equal um, zero when both X Y were zero and the uh, F function equal one when uh, uh, either X or Y equal one or both are equal one. Okay. So um, let take the uh, operation of the off uh, gate so you can see that both of them equal zero the output was zero now if you change the x equal one so the output equal one or y equal one the output equal one or both of them equal one or the output equal one so that uh, uh, indicating the operation of the or gate um, now you can also can check the operation of the NAND gate. So NAND gate basically that is the invert of the uh, complement uh, the values of the AND gate. Okay, so we have the two inputs I can write. Uh, let's say we take the input, take the input, and then we take the output. All right. So this saying that uh, when x in y, let's also we can use the uh, text right here to uh, label it y. So the f right here equal x in y and uh, complement it. Okay. So we can see that when x in y equal zero, um, x y equal zero, and the uh, NAND gate or the uh, complemented value equal one. So that's correct. Um, now if you change one of them equals one, um, the output still zero and the complemented value equal one, uh, or the same way that they did, and you still see one. And if both them equal one, the output equal one, but the complemented equal zero. So that basically the output of the NAND gate right here could be the complemented uh, uh, or the invert value of the uh, output of the uh, NAND gate. Um, let's see. We also can check the operation of the uh, um, NOR gate. So the NOR gate gonna be exactly the same uh, with the NAND gate, where that the value of the uh, NOR gate gonna be the uh, complemented value of the OR gate. Okay, so let's see. Let's see right here. All right, so you can see uh, when the uh, input equals zero, both of them, the output equal one, uh, because uh, the OR function equals zero, but the uh, invert of the OR function after that equal one. Now, if one of them equal one or both of them equal one, the output is gonna be equal one, but the uh, 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 with the NOR gate equal zero because that's gonna be complemented of the OR gate, okay? So for example, right here we have the output equal, um, the output of the OR gate right here equal one. Um, you can see right here equal one. But the uh, invert because that's the uh, NOR gate, so that invert this one equals zero. Um, now, if for example you have the zero one, zero one, so this equal one, but the complemented equals zero. Now both of them equal one. We have the output of the OR gate equal one, but the NOR gate we got a complemented of this one, so equals zero. Okay, so that that gonna be a the uh, the the NOR gate. Also, we can uh, check the operation of the uh, uh, exclusive OR uh, uh, gate. So basically, exclusive OR gate gonna be uh, the um, uh, Uh, operation of the um, or, um, exclusive or basically gonna be uh, compare the uh, value of two input and so uh, then uh, 
uh, put the according name. Okay, so basically the uh, all gate right here, we can see or the all operator, we can see that the two inputs h and y. So the f equal h is equal to all with y. Okay, so um, when both of them equal uh, each other. So x and y equals 0 and the output equals 0. So you can see right now it equals 0 or both of them equal um, 1. The output equals 1. When x different from y, the value of the exclusive or equal 1. Okay, so for example, uh, x equal 1, y equals 0, or uh, y equal 1, x equal 0, the output could be equal 1. So when the value of the input are different, uh, we can uh, see that the uh, the the uh, output equal one. Otherwise, they are equal. The output equal zero. All right. Um. So that that gonna be a, a very uh, first step in order to uh, construct the um, or to or take the operation of the uh, of the basic gate in uh, digital logic design. So uh, the next uh, video, I gonna show you how to construct a uh, com uh, combinational uh, circuit. Uh, based on the input uh, variables and based on the uh, uh, truth table, we want to uh, construct the circuit uh, using logic scheme. Okay, uh, thank you and see you in a next video.